Ah, knitting. That time-honored tradition of folks creating beautiful heirloom pieces has taken on a new form. Knitting has hit the streets. Yarn bombing, a modern-day phenomenon of artists taking their cozy creations and stitching them onto the urban environment. Has anyone here ever yarn bombed? No. no. Has anyone secretly thought about yarn bombing? Lots of people I'd like to yarn bomb. <laughs> Austin resident Magda Sayag is credited with starting this wool evolution. And what we did is we took knitting or crocheting and we put it out on anything that inspired us. It's okay not to knit a baby blanket or a sweater. You can actually go and knit um, a mailbox. And just like other forms of graffiti, it's illegal. It is illegal technically to do this, but it's really pretty. People are enjoying it. But should something this beautiful be outlawed? I mean, I'm wrapping something on a pole. If you don't like it, you can take it off. And not to needle folks with too many details, but not just anyone can do this knitting stuff. So listen to my weekends, girls. I start off with that K2 tog stitch. I finished off with an SK2P stitch, and my right all decreases. Doing good. Thank you very much. I guess knit happens. All the best. Mm-hmm. Magda's yarn bombing has gone global. France, Australia, China. What's the biggest thing you've ever yarn bombed? The bus in Mexico City. I think the bus was supposed to only be up for a couple of months, but because of the popularity of the project, it stayed up for 11 months. A bus? Really, a bus? Well, we headed to Times Square, the center of the world, to leave our mark on something Magda had never tagged before. Let's yarn tag Krista from Madison, Wisconsin. First time for you, yarn tagging a person? Definitely. All right, All right, let's do it. I think we just yarn tagged our first Taurus. I think we did. Nice, right? Yeah. So um, I'm going to give you these. And uh, I think I'm ready for lunch. All right. Awesome. Listen, good luck with everyone, OK? Thank you so much.